my guys. It is a great gloomy Tuesday, March uh, 8th. I think it might be a Wednesday, March 8th, 2023. So I have just endured doing battle with Skype, which has eaten up my entire morning. And I am just now heading over to the mainstream media, and I am absolutely thrilled to see the number one story on the planet today. Hallelujah! The number one story uh, on planet Earth right now in Yahoo News, uh, talking about distractions. Uh, this is a distraction with a capital, bold-faced, italicized D. But even so, I have to admit, guys, uh, I absolutely love it. And I have to admit, uh, with all honesty, uh, my respect for Tucker Carlson has... Uh, <laughs> my, my respect for Tucker Carlson has uh, really blossomed uh, here in this number one biggest uh, distraction story on the planet. Uh, hallelujah. And, and, I, and, and I've been suspicious of this all along. I mean, obviously I've been suspicious about this, but now uh, the dirty laundry has been aired, I guess, in some sort of court filing, and we have it on record quoting Tucker Carlson, I hate him passionately, talking about, of course, uh, none other than Donald Trump. I hate Donald Trump passionately. Yes. Tucker Carlson was fed up with Donald Trump after the 2020 election. Yes. On January 4th, 2021, Fox News host Tucker Carlson was done with Donald Trump. Well, you know, privately he was. Quote, we are very, very close to being able to ignore Trump most nights. I truly can't wait. I hate him passionately. I cannot handle much more of this. Close quote. <laughs> In, anyway, uh, you, yeah, I know you've heard this story. The private comments were a far cry from what Carlson's viewers were used to hearing from the stalwart conservative host on his primetime show every night. Uh, and another message, quote, We are all pretending we've got a lot to show for it because admitting what a disaster it has been is too tough to suggest. He wrote in another message referring to the, quote, last four years. But come on, there isn't really an upside to Trump. Close quote. So at least uh, we finally know. And then, uh, you know, you know at, at least we finally know uh, the truth about uh, Tucker Carlson, uh, what I just suspected all along. You know, for, I mean, I don't listen to Tucker Carlson, uh, all right, but I just assumed that he, you know, was just walking around with Donald Trump's dick in his mouth all, all of those years. And I'm thinking, my God, uh, this man and everyone over there at Fox News Service uh, has, to, uh, has to despise this motherfucker. But, you know, a classic Tucker, this just shows, you know, what a low-rent scumbag he is, that even though he personally despised this man, it was more important to Tucker Carlson, as it is to 99% of the planet, that what they show to the public 
benefits them the most, uh, well in his case certainly financially and, and uh, on all levels, it, it benefited Tucker Carlson for to have these clueless fucking morons, uh, the, the, these Trump tars uh, actually believe that their hero uh, liked and respected uh, this fucking lying sack of shit uh, scumbag. That, uh, that, that he would put that obviously as more important to him than calling it as how he sees it. This is the reason uh, I call it as I see it. Uh, which is the reason Humpty Dumpty Tribe gets as many views as it does, and uh, Tucker Carlson, uh, you, you, you know, weighs his audience. The, you know, these millions and millions of clueless fucking moron, right-wing, Trump ass-licking toadies. These conspiracy wackos talking this fucking bullshit. I need to be careful uh, where I don't worry. The, uh, the person who owns this house is not listening to this. Uh, she is off. Uh, anyway, uh, it, 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 you know, 99% of people are going to sell their fucking whatevers you know, to make a fucking dollar. Uh, I mean, this part isn't surprising about Tucker Carlson, but at least the guy, uh, you, you got to give him some credit. Uh, as I put in the comments, I never thought I would say this, but my respect for Tucker Carlson has grown tremendously uh, with these revelations, of course, that's like uh, raising your respect from your respect for a rat to your respect for a weasel. Uh, he has gone from rat to weasel. He's a weaselly little fuck, is what he is. Uh, for Tucker Carlson to call himself a journalist. And then, of course, the other, you know, deeper down into the article, uh, if you want to go read this, uh, you know, Rupert Murdoch, there's some also some very interesting uh, stuff that has surfaced in this court filing on this case, something to do with some voting machines or something. I have something about some voting machines. I have no clue what that's all about. But uh, anyway, I'm glad this voting machine thing came up because now we have Rupert Murdoch on record in his private, even though he's the motherfucker who owns Fox News, uh, calling these uh, stolen election claims bullshit. Rupert Murdoch, Murdoch, Rupert Murdoch, the owner of Fox News, you know, Tucker Carlson's and all the rest of these fucking right-wing scumbags boss, knew all along that this was utter, unadulterated horseshit, otherwise known as fake news. Rupert Murdoch knew as well as Tucker Carlson and Donald Trump all knew that this unadulterated horseshit was fake news. And Despite this knowledge, and you can see in this uh, in, in, in these emails that he was getting a little bit concerned uh, that uh, this story uh, was going to be exposed for exactly what it, it is. Uh, it's fake news. Uh, it's, it's open and shut. Rupert Murdoch knew this that it was fake news, while uh, Tucker Carlson, he better believe he knew it too, while he passionately despised uh, Donald Trump. I mean, why does anybody on this planet at this point uh, listen to one word from Fox News? 
But of course, uh, some people that I know, uh, so even, you know, e even when I confronted this story to uh, my, uh, my Trump tard friend, she still is defending the Stalin election story. Right here, uh, all of this, she, this is what, you know, I show this college-educated, very intelligent, articulate friend of mine, this story, so obviously, this was from NBC News, so I guess NBC News is fake news, that they're making this up that NBC News is lying. There are no emails with Tucker Carlson. Uh, Tucker Carlson is still, she honestly believes, is the greatest journalist working the planet today. And uh, she 100% uh, believes the election was stolen, the voting machines were whatever. Uh, and that Rupert Murdoch, Rupert Murdoch is obviously confused. If Rupert Murdoch, Tucker Carlson's boss, thinks is bullshit, then Rupert Murdoch is full of shit. What you gonna do? Uh, anyway. Oh, God, I feel like I have a fucking ulcer dealing with this fucking bullshit with uh, these motherfuckers at Skype. I'm going to go slug some Pepto-Bismol and get on with my day. I think we're going to a picking party in Austin, Texas tonight if it doesn't start fucking raining. My guys.